Well, it's been nearly two weeks since Sovic Paul went missing in Manchester. But even now, there is no headway in the case. In fact, on Saturday, family, friends and well-wishers of the 19-year-old missing boy organised a silent march with his posters from Manchester United Stadium to Old Trafford's Warehouse Project Club. Sovic's classmates and flatmates distributed flyers to the local residents and appealed to them for help. Football club Manchester United has also come forward to help find Sovic. An appeal of announcement for Sovic will be made in today's Manchester United vs Liverpool match at Old Trafford as well. The club has put up special billboards on request of the Manchester Metropolitan Police. Sovic was working part-time at the club before he went missing. Well, Indian origin UK MPs too have come out in support of the Indian community, promising to raise the issue with the UK government. Remember, the Indian government is so far silent over this issue. I am in conversation with Mr. Virendra Sharma, Member of Parliament, who is taking up the case of Shovik Pal with British authorities. Thank you for your time, sir. Um, tell me, uh, what are you planning to do and what have you done? So far, I have spoken to the local member of parliament, yes. Lucy Power, and I have discussed the case with her. She has already taken it further to the local police authorities. Mm -hmm. I will be writing to the Home Secretary, which is the letter will be delivered tomorrow. Uh, and uh, I will be putting pressure through the Home Secretary uh, to ask the local police to uh, take more serious action on finding uh, Shavik Park as soon as possible. Because it's worrying that the, for the parents, worrying for the future students coming over here, yes. as this is not uh, the first case of such. Uh, we had previous cases where the Indian students uh, were murdered. Sir, uh, this is, as you said, the third case of an Indian, especially on a New Year's Eve now. Last year it was on Bay yeah. this time. So, do you think there is any ramification to this? There is anything more to it than we can read? I, I, as a, an Indian myself, a, an immigrant, uh, I feel it very strongly that it's a worrying factor that because it's not one case, it's a third case and in many other cases in other places where the people were attacked, the fact that people students coming here, it will affect the current students who are studying here, that's a worrying. But we will try to put pressure on the local authority the, and also the home office to find out that if there is a, uh, that uh, indication of any other wrongdoings in the system. Okay, thank you very much for your time, sir. That was Mr. Virendra Sharma, Member of Parliament, who is saying that he's taking up the matter with the uh, British authorities, the Home Secretary and the MP of the area in Manchester from where Shovik was found and uh, trying to expedite this matter. Lavina Tandon for headlines today from London. In fact, Lavina now joins us with the very latest from London. Lavina, give us an update on police investigations so far. Are there any leads? Shovik's case is becoming mysterious and worrisome by the day. The Greater Manchester Police does not think that there is a third party involvement. The father doesn't think he must have committed suicide. There are no traces of him having died found as yet and uh, no traces of him having kidnapped found as yet. So the mystery continues and so the parallel efforts are now being tried. For example, the vigil uh, in which uh, a lot of friends and uh, Mr. Shantanupal and uh, people from Indian community also participated and they walked a very nice and just quiet uh, walk uh, vigil from uh, the warehouse club from where he disappeared to Manchester United Club. Now Manchester United Club is where Shovik also did part-time work. He worked on the 29th of December then after which he went missing. So Man United Club uh, in uh, their Liverpool match when they played Liverpool on 13th which is today, um, the lots of holdings have been put up and and people are being given uh, leaflets by the students and friends of Shovik just to spread awareness and see if someone has any information which has not really come through for, from people, they should come forward and give to the Manchester United pe uh, Police. But Lavina, what about the family? Do they still feel that he is probably alive and that the police, what about them? Are they probing a suicide or looking at it as a murder? 
I have been speaking to a lot of people about this case, his friends, his uh, classmates, uh, the Indian consulate, the Indian counterparts, Indian community people, father of Shovik. And um, I have come to know of some uh, series of events that and the sequence of events that occurred on the night when he disappeared. Well, uh, when Shovik was evicted from a uh, warehouse club, he was trying to get inside. And that's one text message that he sent to one of his friends that he's trying to get inside. Now, there are a few possibilities here. And these are just conjectures, not uh, something that can be said uh, for a show that uh, there, are, there is a canal behind uh, the warehouse club and maybe if he was trying to come from the backyard he might have uh, ended up in the canal but the police have not found any body or any traces of him being drowned in the canal as yet uh, then there could be a possibility that he was mugged or he took a cab and he was he was he was just uh, taken away or kidnapped uh, because the possibility of him having committed suicide is very strongly refuted by his father so there are various possibilities and various lines of thoughts that run in this case and nothing can be really pursued consistently because at this point in time at least the police has not shared anything uh, very uh, solid with us to say that this is what could have happened probably so this is all conjecture at this point in time but definitely mysterious we don't know what exactly has happened to Shovik and his parents are very worried and so are his friends and uh, people concerned Lavina, what about his friends? Have they been forthcoming? Have you had a chance to speak to them? I have spoken to friends of Shovik, uh, his flatmate, the classmates, the girls who were with him in the nightclub, but uh, none of them are giving any official statement. They do not want to come and give an interview in front of the camera. In all possibility, this investigation is being led by uh, Manchester uh, police and they are witnesses in that investigation and they have been told not to talk uh, so that confusing messages don't go around. Uh, but they are very concerned in the vigil also. They have expressed that all information about Shovik, if anyone has, that should be given. They are very concerned and they are very happy to support any effort that is made to find Shovik. And Lavina, what about his friends? You said that they have been speaking to you, but unfortunately, it's the Indian government which is still silent over this entire issue. What about the Indian community in Manchester? Are they taking up this case? After my interview with Mr. V. S. Ramalingam, uh, who is uh, the Consul General of India in Birmingham, under which Manchester comes, he has got in touch with the MP in Manchester. Also, uh, MP Virendra Sharma from London, who uh, is an MP from South Hall, he has got in touch with Lucy Powell, the um, MP from Manchester. She is uh, going to put pressure on the police. She has been in touch with the police and the family. And also, Mr. Virendra Sharma is taking the case up with the Home Secretary to put some sort of pressure so that they this case is expedited and some sort of result is achieved, some sort of closure to this matter is achieved for the family and those concerned. Well, hopefully the Manchester United Police crack this case as soon as possible, not just for Sovic but also his very worried family. Well, thank you, Lavina, for joining us with the very latest. We will, of course, come back to you as and when there are more developments in the story.